You know what, this really wasn't a hard list to make at all. Pending further review, here are the five anime I am most excited for for the fall 2015 lineup. I am just feeling alive. I don't shut it up. Number five, Attack on Titan High School. I'm not so much excited for this one as I am just ghoulishly interested. Seeing as Attack on Titan is bigger than Jesus, it was only a matter of time before they went all Muppet Babies on us. Attack on Titan High School stars chibi versions of all your favourite characters attending high school alongside the Titans. The novelty, no doubt, is taking Attack on Titan, a really grim series, and turning it into a cutesy high school drama. Apparently, instead of eating Eren's mother, one of the Titans ate his lunch one day, just to give you an idea of the tone. I'm very curious to see how this turns out. I have a production Production IG have completely sold out, or they have the greatest sense of humour in all of anime production. Attack on Titan High School comes out on the 4th of October. Remember that date, because pretty much everything drops that day. Number 4, Young Blackjack. Man, Osamu Tezuka was awesome. Not only did he codify the familiar manga anime aesthetic, he was a freaking doctor. While Tezuka was more known for cute characters like Kimba the White Lion and Astro Boy, Tezuka's other well-known creation was the brooding medical genius Blackjack. Set in the turbulent 1960s, young Blackjack follows the titular doctor's formative years at medical school. The 1960s is such a narratively rich setting. You've got Vietnam, the civil rights movement, the space race. Throw in a badass mercenary doctor like Blackjack and you've got one really promising story. Also also, it's awesome to see that after all these years, Tezuka's art style has been faithfully adhered to. Something about the way he did eyes was always really engaging. Young Blackjack comes out on the 1st of October. Number 3, Concrete Revolucio Chojin Genso. Studio Bones have always been out there in terms of visuals. Everything they make is, if not awesome, at least a visual treat. Concrete Revolution is one of the most psychedelic things I've seen all year and everything about this trailer fills me with delight. Set after a mysterious future war, Japan is now populated with every fantasy creature, transformer and superhero known to man. And yes, that does sound very similar to Spring's Blood Blockade Battlefront, but I don't know, I guess Bones must really like that setting. Our protagonist Jiro Hitoyoshi works for the Superhuman Bureau and is charged with monitoring and presumably sometimes going into conflict with these fantastical entities. With its fast animation, gorgeous colour scheme and a setting that lets the riders do whatever the hell they want, Concrete Revolution looks like an absolute blast. It starts airing on the 4th of October, which is going to be a damn busy day for me by the looks of things. Number 2, One Punch Man. Were you starting to think anime was all about dweeby boys working their way through an army of women? Lord knows the live chart list I was looking at was starting to present it that way. So thank goodness for shows like One Punch Man, which hews back to a simpler time when anime was all about staging absurd action scenes. Saitama is so powerful he can knock out superhuman enemies with one punch, but he gets no joy from these easy enemies and longs for a baddie who will one day give him the challenge he so desperately craves. In addition to wall running, flying and some superb combat animation, One Punch Man has one of the strangest, albeit not super racially sensitive, casts of any series this season. With its weird ensemble of heroes and villains, One Punch Man looks to be one of the more eccentric and action-packed shows coming out this fall. It comes out on October 5th, just to give everyone a break. And number one, my most anticipated show of fall 2015, Koabon. In Koabon, mobile phones, closed circuit TV and webcams mean there are now more ways than ever of seeing the horrors lurking just out of view. Koabon uses rotoscope, where you film real actors and then trace it to create an uncanny, not quite real fusion of animation and live action. Koabon also looks to be a found footage film, as though we are watching these stories play out in real time. Koabon looks like a chilling addition to the admittedly small pool of anime horror stories. Out just in time for Halloween, Koabon will be made up of 13 5 minute episodes and you can start watching it from October 4th. So what are you guys looking forward to? And what are you guys not looking forward to? You know, I gotta be honest, when I looked at the live chart list, I really wasn't particularly thrilled by anything. But maybe you guys have found some hidden gems. Let us know in the comments or on Twitter, which has my face on it and is proof that I am not a robot. Beep boop. I, I mean, see you next fall. Okay.